guys doing this beautiful day? I hope you guys are fabulous. I'm in a good mood. I woke up in a good mood and my coffee was awesome. I tried this new creamer. It's a little sweet. It's called sweet creamer. <laughs> it's like some Italian sweet creamer. And it was good. It was really good. I was like, okay, so hmm, this might be my new new go-to now. Look, I don't have a glove on. I put one glove on and forgot to put the other one on. But today we are going to do some different colors. Yeah, we are going to do the lime green. Oh, come on, glove. I used the bathroom and washed my hands, and now my hands is a little damp. We're going to use the lime green. We're going to use the mustard and yellow. But I'm going to throw in some gold. Yes, I am. So I have a cup right here that I'm going to use, that I use gold and silver in see that and that vase is beautiful i just sprayed that vase oh my goodness that vase is pretty that's gonna be another vase that's gonna be at my house my husband is like you got too many vases you're gonna keep saying you're gonna keep i know so that makes me see that he watches my videos but here we go here's the yellow here is, I'm going to throw some gold in there. Shake that up. Here's my mustard. Ugh, come on, top. Ah, oh, there we go. My mustard. These are some different colors. That mustard feel like it's kind of thin. It's just making some noise. But I am going to, I clean this with some... I have alcohol in the spray bottle that I spray on them and I clean. But let me see what got the most in it. The green does. Let's start off with green. Let's put them over here so you can. You still can't see it because the you can't see it. So yeah, how are you guys doing? As I said, I woke up in a <laughs> in a happy mood, especially after my my coffee. And then I watched this movie on Home on Hallmark. It was on YouTube, but it was a Hallmark video. It was with Holly Robertson Pete and um Rick Fox. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. He's a he's a good actor. <laughs> yeah, he's a good actor. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Type of being eye candy. Uh oh, this gold. I don't know about that. That gold is kind of runny. Ooh, do I have any more gold? I need to make a Michael's run for show. I just put a little bit of. I like the consistency of this mustard. This is going to be one of them paintings. You're going to be like, ooh, we look at them colors. What did you choose them colors for? Because they are a burst of fresh air. <laughs> a burst of something, huh? Yeah. So, last week at my job, I'm hiring for this new position. And it's an entry-level position to help with people and help me and the other people in, in my, um, uh, on my team. And... The people we have been, uh-oh, this top is not closed all the way. You know, if you have some young adults in your family, teach them how to interview. Play, play interviews with them because it clearly, I can clearly see that. And, you know, I don't want to talk about my time because I know I probably just, rambled on and on and on and on at an interview before too but i had this one person and she just was going on and on and on and 
telling me stories, but about her her employment, but she wasn't answering the question. And I just found myself just, you know, like waiting for her to answer the question and she never answered the question. And I was like, oh, she's nervous. So I waited, we had like 11 questions. So I waited and she never answered the question. And then it was like, you know, during the time of her interview, it sounded like her dog had came in. It was a big dog, too. Came in and jumped all over her. And boom, 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 boom. There when her, her computer or her laptop must have closed or whatever. And it was just, it was so funny. And she was like, I'm so sorry. And I just was, I'm glad my thing was on mute because I was just cracking up. So, so sorry for. But, um... Yeah, just to just to have them prepare to talk clear, um, to not be nervous, you know, during interviews. And I know it's hard not to be nervous, um, but yeah, stick to the point and listen to the question. We said in the beginning of the interview, we will repeat it. There's no problem. Like the last one interview I had, I think I repeated one of the questions like three, four times because it was like a three part question. And it was, she was just making sure, you know, that she was answering it correctly. And, um, but it was just, you know, a couple of the people we had and, and then we had this one guy who was actually smacking and, and I was like, is he smacking? And yeah, he was smacking. I kind of, was thinking, you know, did he smack? And then, you know, my supervisor said afterward, was he, did you hear that noise? And I said, well, I heard smacking. I didn't, I'm not sure what noise you heard. And he was like, I was just making sure that that was smacking that I heard. So, you know, just, you know, talk to your young folks so that they know how to to interview. I mean, we used to have job fairs and with those job fairs, and I think I still think they do have job fairs. They help people. It's a different gathering. You're outside and you're talking to people. You're going ready to speak to someone. You're going ready to be professional. You're going ready to have a suit on because that's how I got my job when I worked at Wells Fargo is I went in a skirt and a suit coat and heels. My feet were killing me that day, I remember. And I went prepared and the lady was really impressed with me that, you know, I could, I was talking to her. It was just like on a different level. And um, she was part of the interview and, you know, she had came to me in the group interview and she re she remembered me and she was like, hi, Thelma. And I was like, oh, she remembered me. I'm going to get this job. <laughs> I ended up getting a job, but that wasn't the reason why I got the job because she remembered me. But it was, um, it was an, it was an experience and I was young too, but, um, just build up our young folks confidence that, you know, um, to put their best foot forward and to just maybe just re yeah relax to relax that would help that would help out a lot but that's all I got to say about that and I am ready to pour let's see how these colors turn out cross your fingers here we go oh that gold is ugly already Yeah, that gold is ugly. Okay, as you know, I stop. I check the size to make sure it's flowing good. Ain't no stoppage. 
Ain't no boogies. I see some air bubbles. Yeah, that uh that gold is not pretty. Ugh! So hope uh oh uh oh what is that? So hopefully the uh the gold will just pour on down. What is that? What is that? I don't know. What are you? You know, I appreciate the people that are at least out there trying to get to do a, to do better for themselves by getting a job or getting a better job so that they can move up in life. I just wish I could give a job to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, this, this gold, ugh, I'm trying to push it all off because I don't like it. I think I'm just going to do another. What y'all think of this? I don't like it. But I wanted to try these colors. <sighs> what you think? There's a lot of paint on top. Get this paint off. Sorry, I'm just trying to see how this is turning out and I'm not happy with it. I got paint all on my, my flamer. Ugh. 
Come on, there you go. Go on and flow. Actually, you know what? It's not that bad. I just didn't like that gold. I didn't like that gold in there. I want to do a light paint because most of my paints are dark colors. And I wanted to do a light paint. I like it. I like it. I got to see how that gold is going to turn out. I don't know which one had all these bubbles in it, but something had bubbles. Come on. This side is really pretty, like really pretty. I want this top to be even. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's different. It's different. Like I said, I don't know which color had all of those bubbles in it, but there's a lot of bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles, bye-bye. Yeah, that's pretty. It's a keeper. I'm not going to change the colors. I should be out of butane out of this thing. Why did I fill it up last week? Nope, I'm almost out. I got to go fill this thing up. That's almost out of the juice. Out of the juice. Yeah, this one is a keeper. Not for me. I got a boogie. Show sure do. I had a boogie right there. You gonna close up? I noticed that on one of my uh, vases that I did, I had a boogie on it and I removed it and the paint didn't cover it so you can see right through it. I'm like, uh oh. So I went and when filled it in yeah see on this side i have green and then on this side i have the mustard color you can't see much of the yellow but i like the mustard and that green color together that's pretty i ain't gonna throw it away <laughs> it's a keeper it's a keeper let me uh, get these air bubbles I'm at the bottom. So I will show you the other side. One moment. So see where I said this side had a lot of green? Yeah, lime green, but here at the bottom, that orange, I would say mustard color comes in. But you can also see, oops, I almost knocked some stuff over on here. Move out the way, stuff. Move it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that gold. I don't like it. So, um, you can see, like, inside of that green, the orange is coming through because the orange is thicker. So, that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. I wish I would have had the... The bottom of this vase was small enough to put the red cup so I can make a flower. Because the other pictures that I did, they had the little, oops, sorry. They had the little flower underneath. Was I going too fast? Let's see. Now this side has the mustard color in it. Yeah, don't see much yellow. I think that yellow was just too thin. And yeah, she's a keeper. Oh, she's a she, huh? <laughs> that's pretty. 
That one is a keeper. Come on, head. That's pretty. That's pretty. I like the way, look at that. I like the way that orange does come through. The, not orange, it's mustard. That it comes through there. Yeah. That's pretty. That's a keeper. I can't even tell you what happened. I'm just so thrown back that has never happened to me. Um, I don't normally use this thing either. I just ran out of... Oh. So I picked the vase up and dropped it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so thrown back that I did that. Well, I didn't drop it. It just leaned over and I caught it. Of course, I got handprints all on it. So I'm going to, I have put it on the dryer, but I'm going to mix this up with without the gold and just pour it over, try to fix it. I'm so bummed. God, I'm bummed. Ugh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm trying to get these colors. I wish I would have just put these colors on it. Where's my spoon at? Yeah. Actually, that came out pretty. That's pretty. God, I'm bomb. That never happens. I don't know what I was paying attention to. It just whoop, went to the side, off my little holder there. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to mix something up and to fix that side. I got paint all over. It's going to be all over my camera. Oh, didn't do it right. Here we go. So that's pretty. See the green and the mustard comes through on that one? Uh, slow it down. Slow it down. That's pretty. But the vase was just so much prettier. Ah, I'm so bummed that happened. Thank you for watching. I guess this is a disastrous masterpiece. <laughs> Love you. Bye-bye.